I am having a major creative block. I think it's time to get some help. Oh, hey MK, how can I help? Well, I wanna make this wow cake, but I just don't have any wow ideas. How about a see-through cake using this clear tier by Prop Options? It comes with a lid as well, so you can place all kinds of things in it. Oh my God, okay, I love it. Thanks MK. No problem. Okay, so I'm thinking extra tall cake, see-through section in the middle, beautiful red roses all around. Let's do this. So to start off, I'm going to crumb coat my cake layers. So I've got a whole bunch of chocolate cake layers here. I'm not sure how many I'm going to use just yet. And then I've got some beautiful Swiss meringue buttercream here, which I'm going to use to ice my cake. And then I've got a little bit of simple syrup here too to make my cake layers nice and moist. So I'm going to start off by crumb coating the bottom part of my cake. And I want it to be quite tall. And I'm going to do that straight on the cake board, which my you know whole cake is going to be sitting on. So I'm just starting off by putting a little bit of Swiss meringue buttercream onto my cake board so that everything sticks. And then I'm gonna go in with my first cake layer. So these are six inch cake layers, but I did need to kind of slightly trim them on the side so that they're a little bit smaller because when I do my final coat of icing, I want them to be nice and flush with this six inch clear acrylic part that's going to be in the middle of my cake. And then I'm just going in with my simple syrup, put a little bit of icing. Oh gosh, I always make such a mess. I think one more layer should do the trick. So I'm just gonna measure it. Hmm. Okay, I think we'll leave it like that. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and use the frosting on the sides first to crumb coat my cake. Now I'm just getting a little more frosting. Okay, now I need to scrape my excess buttercream off. I don't have another bowl right now, so I'm just gonna scrape it on the side of my simple syrup, but don't do this. Just, just go and get another bowl if you can. <laughs> All right, I am happy with that. And then this is going to go on top. And then on top of this is going to be this little baby layer, which I'm going to crumb coat right now. Now I'm just using another cake board here to ice my little top tier on and then I'll take it off and assemble it right at the end. Looks a little bit uneven at the top, but that's okay, we will fix that later. So I've got my two cakes crumb coated now. These are going to go into the fridge for about 30 minutes and then we're going to be back to do our final coat of buttercream. So my buttercream is nice and firm now and I'm gonna go ahead and put a final coat of buttercream on this larger portion first. I want it to be really nice and flush with this acrylic tear. So I'm going to use this bottom portion as a guide for this kind of larger cake portion at the bottom. And then I'm going to use this lid to act as a guide for my little smaller cake layers on the top. Now before I put this on top of this, I actually need to put some dowels into this cake first. And the reason for that is because when you're making a tall, you know, cake, then what you need to do is you need to put some supports in about halfway through. Otherwise the, you know, cake layers on the top are going to be too heavy for the cake layers on the bottom. And yeah, we just really don't want that. So a really cool trick here is to kind of just wiggle your straw a little bit, pull it up, and then you can see it's got that little rim of icing there. So then you're just going to cut that off <laughs> and then just push it in. Okay, Dell's done. So I'm going to start off by putting some Swiss meringue buttercream on the top. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and cover the sides. Actually, no. Before I cover the sides, I'm going to put my acrylic tear on top. So I'm just going to place that in the middle and I'm pushing it down. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and fill the sides with buttercream. Now I'm just going to start scraping the sides with my cake scraper. Now I'm just filling in the gaps with more buttercream. Looking good. Now I'm just gonna try and get as much of the buttercream off as I can off this acrylic tear. Okay, so that's 
all good for now. And now I'm going to pop this back into the fridge now for about two hours for the buttercream to become really nice and firm. And then I'm gonna come back and do a final scrape and it's gonna be super, super smooth. Okay, so now we are on to our little baby tear that's on the top. So the tricky part about this one is that this acrylic tear is actually see-through. So because the cake is quite tall, I don't want people to kind of see it and then be able to see the kind of bottom of this cake and you know, all the crumbs and stuff. So what I'm actually gonna do first is I'm going to cover the top with some buttercream and then I'm going to put some baking paper on top and flip it over. And this is all going to make sense as we, you know, get into it. Flip. It's not as scary as it seems. Okay, now I need to release this from the bottom of this cake. So I'm just using my spatula to help me do that. Now the bottom of this cake is pretty moist and exposed. We may need to do another little crumb coat. Yeah, I think we're gonna need a crumb coat. I'm just the queen of making a mess. Now I just really don't wanna wait another half an hour. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do the top as if this was nice and firm buttercream. Probably not a good idea, but I'm gonna do it anyway. can't see any crumbs and now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use this lid as a guide so what I need to do is I need to flip this over and make sure that I don't put buttercream on this little kind of ridge here otherwise it's not going to fall into place okay that looks pretty good and now I'm just gonna go ahead and ice the sides like how I did with that larger part that I just did before <laughs> oh okay now I'm just taking off the buttercream from the top Okay, so that's looking pretty good. And now this is going to go into the fridge for about two hours. And once the buttercream is all nice and firm, we're going to come back, put it all together and finish off decorating. So my buttercream is super firm now. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to smooth it up a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my cake scraper and I'm going to gently scrape around the cake. Now next what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a beautiful stencil on the front of my cake. So I'm not going to do the entire cake, I actually wouldn't recommend kind of stenciling an entire cake if you're using a Swiss meringue buttercream because Swiss meringue buttercream softens up really quickly so you're, you, know, you don't want your stencil to kind of stick to your cake and pull off your buttercream. Now next what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean this top part now with a clean damp cloth so I've just kind of put a little bit of warm water on it and hopefully that's going to clean everything up. Now I'm just drying it all up. Okay, I'm just gonna stop there, otherwise I'm just gonna keep going. So now what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to fill this in with some red roses, because that's what I want in the middle, before I go ahead and put that final little tear on top. So let's get to some decorating. So what I've got here are some gorgeous red roses which I'm going to put all over my cake. And what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to fill some in the middle here. And to help them last longer, I'm going to wrap them with some floral tape. And this is just going to help, you know, retain some of that moisture in the rose. And you do also wanna make sure that you have washed and let these dry so that you don't get anything nasty on your cake. Now I'm just going to put some of these extra petals that I've got to see if it'll kind of just nicely cover the back because as you can see it's kind of a bit exposed. Okay, so I'm happy with how that looks now. I'm going to stop touching it because it keeps falling and going everywhere. And now we're gonna go ahead and do the top portion of this cake. Okay, so for this next part, what I'm gonna do first is I'm just going to scrape the sides again with my cake scraper to get it super, super smooth. I am getting so much condensation on this cake that I feel like I'm just ruining it now. So I'm just gonna stop scraping and put this away. And now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this cake over and put it on top of this one. So let's just hope it works. And flip. Oh my gosh. It's all right, we're just gonna drop that in. Yay. Okay, now next, let's take this off. It should just come off really easily. Oh my God, it looks so cute. Okay, now before this gets too soft, I'm going to quickly add some of that stencil to the top. Sorry if you guys can't see this. I just gotta do it really quickly. Okay, now I'm just adding a little bit of buttercream to the top because I've got a few little holes on the top. So just to kind of cover it up and smooth it out. Okay, now the last thing to do is to finish putting my roses on the top and on the sides and then we should be done. No. Yay. 
Okay, and that is it. This cake is all done. Let me know what you guys think below. So what I was going to do was add a little bit of greenery in that, but I quite like the, you know, simple white and red look. So I'm gonna leave it just like that. Okay, now it is time to cut this cake. Okay. Why do these things happen to me? Okay, and now we are going to eat our cake. So <laughs> that is the inside. Bit wonky my slice, but that's okay. Time to eat. Mmm, that is really good. I actually haven't had cake in ages. <laughs> Just a little bit more. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will post a link below to where you can get this really gorgeous acrylic tear to just give your cake that wow factor. And you can also get a little bit of a discount if you use that link below. Thank you so much to Prop Options for gifting me this beautiful product and I will see you guys in the next video.